Hey everybody, today I'm going to teach you how to make a pan flute out of Japanese knotweed, which is a very invasive plant around here. Alright, let's get right into it. Alright, so the materials you will need for this project is a cutting surface, you'll need a fine tooth saw or very sharp blade, and a buttload of Japanese knotweed. And you'll also need some hot glue. Alright, so step number one. So you want to find the best stocks of Japanese knotweed you can find. Uh, you don't want any holes in them and you want them to be fairly straight. Something you'll notice about Japanese knotweed is they have these almost like little dividers on them. I just call them knuckles, but they're uh, pretty important for this project. So what you'll be doing is you'll be cutting below one knuckle and above the other one like shown. In the video and it's important to do that because you're making a tube that is hollow on one end and covered up on the other and that's really how you get sound from it so once you have your first pan flute pipe cut um, you want to do the blow test where you're pretty much picking the key that you want it to be so you try and get some noise out of it if you want it to be sharper you just cut it shorter um, yeah and you pretty much repeat this to these two processes over and over again, depending how many little pipes you want. Uh, I mostly just do four or five. So now we're just gonna make the uh, connector pieces. All you need to do is pick a piece of Japanese knotweed, crush it. Uh, you wanna get like two pretty straight, flat-ish pieces. And uh, once you do that, all you do is size them up on your incompleted pan flute. You want to cut down the edges a little bit you don't have to um, but I think it looks a little better and then after that you just want to put some hot glue and repeat the process on the other side so once your glue is dried this should be your finished project it looks very rustic and it plays not too bad all right thanks for watching hope everybody has a good day